Hi everyone, welcome to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm gonna share my recipe for Portuguese pop six. They're Portuguese dinner rolls. And I'm gonna show you how to make this recipe step by step and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make some bread at home. So stay with me and watch how to make Portuguese pop six, Portuguese dinner rolls step by step. Okay, let's get started. I'm starting off with activating the yeast and in a bowl I'm placing one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of granulated sugar, and one tablespoon of active dry yeast. I'm going to stir that together just to combine it. And now at this point, I'm going to add half a cup of lukewarm water. Now I'm just gonna give that a quick stir and then I'm going to set it aside for about five to 10 minutes let the yeast activate, and now I'm going to move on to the next step. Now I'll be using the stand mixer to mix all the ingredients, and I'm starting off with three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now you can also use bread flour for this recipe. And next I'm adding one tablespoon of kosher salt. Now before I start mixing all the ingredients, I'm going to use my hook attachment, and I'm going to place it on my mixer, and I'm just going to mix the salt as well as the flour together just for a few seconds. Now once you have the salt and flour mixed together, you're ready to add the balance of the ingredients. And here I have two tablespoons of unsalted butter, which I've melted, and to that I'm going to add the activated yeast. So it's all activated. You can see it's nice and bubbly and I'm just gonna make sure I add all of the yeast into the uh, mixing bowl. I wanna make sure I have all of that in there. And now I'm going to place the mixer on a low to medium speed, let it mix. And while it's mixing, I'm going to add one cup of lukewarm water and I'm gonna add it gradually. So I'm just gonna pour it in while it's mixing. Now I have all my ingredients added to the mixing bowl. I'm gonna let it mix for a minute or two and I'll show you the next step. I've had the mixer going for about two minutes on a low speed and at this point I like to stop the mixer and just take a spatula just to simply scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl. Now I'm going to place the mixer on a medium speed and let it continue mixing until it forms the dough for an additional five minutes. Now it's, as it's mixing, you're going to see it starts pulling away from the sides of the bowl just as you see it here. Now it's been mixing for about five minutes. I'm going to stop the mixer. And you can see you will get a very sticky dough that's perfectly normal. And now we're going to move on to the next step in forming the pop six or the dinner rolls. Now for the next step, I have a bowl. And I also have half a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm going to be using this to dust the bowl as well as the pop six. And I'll show you later on. You might not even use all of it. And you're also going to use some for your hands. So I'm just going to remove the dough and place it in my floured bowl. Now this is a dough you don't have to knead. You just remove it from the mixing bowl. Just shape it up in a sort of a ball. Place it into the center. And then you're just going to wait until it doubles in size. So it'll take anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. Just keep it in a warm place. You're going to cover it with a tea towel. And we'll come back to it once it's doubled in size. Now it's been about an hour. The dough has doubled in size. Look at that. It looks so fluffy and perfect. Look at that. Now we're ready to form our pop six. I'm just going to dust the counter surface, which is my working surface, and I'm using the same half cup of all-purpose flour that I had from earlier. So I'm just going to take the dough, place it onto the counter, and here I'm just stretching out the dough into a log form, and I'm going to cut eight pieces of dough to form the pop six, and I'm going to generally just cut them into try to make them into equal pieces. Now here I have a baking tray with parchment paper and using the same half cup of all-purpose flour that I set aside and I'm just simply dusting the flour onto the baking tray. And now for the next step you're going to take your piece of dough and just form a ball. And you can do this with two of your hands. I just have a habit of using this technique I learned and you can see it's a ball. Place it into the baking tray that's dusted with some flour 
and you're going to continue forming your uh, balls of dough just like that. Now this recipe will make you eight pop six or dinner rolls and here they are they're formed into a ball and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them rest I'm gonna cover it with a tea towel for about 15 minutes and then I'll come back to them and I'll show you the next step now for the next step after 15 minutes of letting the dough rest you can see they're puffed out in 15 minutes but we're going to be using the same half cup of all-purpose flour that I set aside and I'm going to use a dowel this is a wooden dowel if you don't have one no worries you can always use the back of a wooden spoon which is almost the same thickness or width and I have here a small uh, wooden spoon that you can also use so I have a dowel specifically for this now what I'm going to do is dust the top of the dough with some all-purpose flour just as you see me doing here and I'm going to take the dowel in the center of the roll and press the dowel in the center of the dough to make an indent just as I'm doing here now you want to ensure that you also flour your dowel just to avoid it from sticking to the dough You can see the pop six are forming I'm going to place the tea towel back onto the dough let it rise for 30 minutes and you'll see the dough will double in size after 30 minutes remove the tea towel and poof look at the pop six they're ready to go in the oven now I had my oven preheated I'm going to place them in the oven and bake them at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 20 to 25 minutes keep an eye on them my pop six dinner rolls are out of the oven they look perfect nice color on the top soft inside I'm just going to let them cool for a couple of minutes before I break into them and show you what they look like inside I've let them cool for a few minutes but look at this nice and soft and the color on the bottom perfect I'm ready for a nice hot fluffy popsicle look at that inside just perfect and that's how I make my Portuguese popsicles Portuguese dinner rolls right at home as you can see, they're very easy to make. I did make a small recipe. If you want more pop six or uh, dinner rolls, you can uh, double up on the recipe. Um, they're very delicious, nice and soft. They're still warm, great with some nice butter inside the bun, or you can have it as a cold cut sandwich, use the bread for a cold cut sandwich, anything really. They're so delicious. And I hope you all enjoy the recipe for my Portuguese pop six. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care.